Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Proverbs chapter 14, verse seven. It reads as follows, a foolish man. Well, it is April Fool's Day. I mean, I felt like that was just too easy not to preach on, so I'm going with it. Just joking, I am not gonna prank you guys today. I do have a real devotional, but I'm gonna give you a couple of jokes beforehand. Okay, what month of the year has 28 days in them? All of them, duh, you were gonna say April, I know it. Come on now, you have to think, just saying, come on. Okay, one more, these are cheesy, I know, one more. What did one spring flower say to the other spring flower? Girl, you really got me growing. Okay, okay, in all seriousness, thank you for humoring me with my cheesy jokes. In all seriousness, if there is one word in the book of Proverbs that we see repeatedly over and over and over again, it is the word fool, foolish, foolishness, unwise, or some variation thereof. Case in point, a foolish man despises his mother. Fools spend whatever they get. A fool's heart blurts out folly. People ruin their lives by their own foolishness and then are angry at the Lord. Foolishness brings joy to those with no sense. A foolish, evil man walks in rebellion. Or like our verse today, stay away from a foolish man. You will gain no knowledge from his speech. Ouch. But when you think about it, I mean, what is foolishness? What does it mean to be a fool? The Oxford Dictionary defines a fool as someone who acts unwisely or imprudently, a silly person, which is interesting because Proverbs also notes that the beginning of wisdom, which is the opposite of foolishness, is the fear of the Lord. So basically, when it all comes down to it, if we define foolishness, it's really someone who doesn't fear the Lord, which is kind of a lot of people, which is actually also interesting because people usually see it as the exact opposite of that. People take pride in their self-knowledge and their self-work and their self-worth and they, you know, in what they put in themselves. They take pride in who they are and what they have made themselves to be. People think that they have pulled themselves up by their own bootstraps or they've worked really hard or they've made wise decisions to be where they are. They value their pedigrees or their family or their money or their education as far as setting them up for success in life. Some people think that because they are in a good place in life that they did it. It was because of their choices or their looks or you know their work or their family or you know situations that they thought that they could control or they had that just kind of gave them an upper leg that kind of put them above everyone else. And they kind of think actually that people who don't have those things, they are the foolish ones. In God's economy, a fool is simply someone who thinks they don't need God, who thinks that they have what they have and they are who they are and they, you know, possess everything that they possess in and of themselves because they did it, because you know they have it, because they are so great. He calls a wise person someone who recognizes their need for him. They recognize that they can do nothing without him. Friends, don't be a fool. Let us never think that it's because of us that we have what we have, that we you know, have acquired what we've acquired, that we are where we are. Let's never think that it hasn't been but by the grace of God that he has blessed us to have the mind to come up with ideas or the stamina to keep going or the perseverance to not quit or you know the opportunities to get the education or to get the job or to meet the person. Let's always remember that it is not us in and of ourselves that have put us in our situations, not our bank accounts, not our families, not our education, not our looks, not our jobs. It is not us. It is always the Lord Jesus Christ. It is always him and the gifts that he has given us to use those gifts for his glory. You know, let's always remember that fear, meaning reverence, awe, adoration, worship, of the Lord. That is the beginning of true wisdom. That is the beginning of leaving that life of foolishness that we were all in at some point. We need God in every aspect of our lives, in the big decisions and the small ones, in our day-to-day -day and in those you know life-changing, altering decisions. We need him for everything. And he wants to be in every little part of our lives. He wants us to recognize our need for him, that we can do nothing without him, that in him we live and move and have our being. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, for all the fun days, like April Fool's Day, Lord, which can all tie back to you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> we thank you, God, for the reminder that we don't need to be a fool, God, that yes, you actually take the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, Lord, and we 
welcome, Lord, being just, you know, a fool for you, Lord Jesus. We welcome being, you know, the one who is unwise, a fool to the world, God, if that means that we are wise to you, Lord Jesus. You say that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And we pray, Lord, for just that healthy, reverential awe and worship and adoration of you, Lord, that we are always before you thinking, I can't do anything without the Lord. I love him. He is my everything. And with that comes true wisdom, Lord, because then you can trust us to show us things, Lord, because our heart posture is you. It's not ourselves. Help us to remember, God, it's all you, God. We are nothing without you, God. And we love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.